in the view. Brian, can you see that? Right, okay. So, this is here because we're going to make a mess, okay? see up here. Right, cool. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to make today is we are going to make... Oh, don't worry about it, Leah. I've just, I was thinking about you the other day, thinking I still got that journal. Well, me and Brian have got that journal for you, so we need to get that to you at some point. So what we're going to make today is we're going to make our own washi tape. Okay, so I don't know whether you, you know, you might be a little bit like me, um, or nothing like me, or oh, sorry, just wobble up the camera by this, by mistake, trying to hook my. My microwave, my my microwave out the way, my microphone out the way. Um, if you're anything like me, you'll just end up buying, you end up buying loads of washi tape. I have bags and bags and bags of washi tape. Okay, of which some of it's gone into Crafty Mail, in, sorry, into Happy Mail, um, which I haven't sent out yet. Um, and um, other bits are just used for like sticking stuff down. Because I buy it and it doesn't really tie in with what I want to want it want to do with you know my piece or it's too bright or it's just not you know it's it's not cost effective is it you keep buying this and you might rip a little bit off and then you never use it again so I've we're gonna make our own washi tape so this um, is um, this here is actually this so it's just common garden um, uh, what's it it's called masking tape I know it says duck brand inside and I keep reading it as reading duct tape and it's not duct tape don't use duct tape unless you're planning to kidnap someone mm -hmm. um so this is uh all homemade it's literally been made out of this and it's really simple you can just like let your crafty flair go loose you know i'm not very artistic and i'm i'm creative but i'm not artistic so i can't dr make art and that sort of thing so but i can do this okay so i can do this you can do this so um this is the um this is the not duct tape what's it called masking. masking tape um brian can you just pass me that strip from up there the top the bottom one so the other thing that you can use is this which is medical tape okay so this is medical tape so this is like this is a typical purchase you know when you want you just you just want to try one roll but you end up buying it from amazon you have to buy a whole box of it, 12 rolls of them okay so um this is it when it's made um on the um medical tape so we're going to make both okay and we're going to have a bit of a play and we're going to see um how it goes and all of that good stuff oh this is another piece i made with the medical tape um see i've got a bit got a bit got a bit blur. i've got a bit excited haven't i i've made all of this stuff um so this is made using the med using the medical tape but using a bit of um emulsion paint down first so um what i'm going to do i'm just going to stick that to there and hopefully they won't all stick together um and this is just a piece of non-stick baking parchment so that they can you can put them somewhere so that they don't just go can I just say something? <laughs> what? Leah, it's a better use of medical tape. All right, what's got loads of medical tape. All right, okay. Which I can imagine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, this is the this is a more creative use of medical tape. So, we're going to do both so so you can see what the difference is you will get a much lighter result with the medical tape but it is a lot more um washi tape-esque in its appearance um because and it tears really nicely it looks like uh washi tape um so we'll do three strips of this and i like to put them together now if you want to do completely different things on each one then do that like you know have a a separation between them between them but I'm gonna do the same thing on all of them and that way then you you can kind of batch create so and I'm all for batch creating if I don't have to work twice as hard I'm I'm glad so this is when I find out I'm gonna run out of masking tape which will be just typical won't it so um, 
but anyway we'll work with what we've got so okay so I've, I've, i'm going to turn this around so it's a bit closer to me so i don't have to lean in but hopefully you guys can still see that okay so um these fingerprints are just where it's kind of just stuck down a bit more and you can see the sticking down and also probably a little bit of my dirty fingers on it but i've been playing all morning so you know this is what happens and you don't have to get you know you don't have to get your blending tools out so you don't have to get these out you don't have to get your brushes you don't have to get your daubers you can literally just pick up one of your pads okay so i think we're going to go for let's make it what colors have we already got we've got let's make it a bit more vibrant i think well i'll try and make it a bit more vibrant but you know i always end up going the grungy route so all it is is i'm going to take my pad so um and i'm just going to rub it all over so you can see how this the medical tape it, because it's more absorbent it sucks in the color um more and therefore you don't see it as much whereas it sits on the surface of the um washi tape um and literally you're just going to give it a bit of a wiggle you know put some deeper lines in it you know on the medical tape you can really push down and get some you want to make it kind of mottly because like you know if you think about washi tape a lot of washi tape is mottly in the background so um and you can do this we're going to do this like this and then we're going to do some with some emulsion and some acrylic so like you can use emulsion paint you could use acrylic paint you can get you know creative with all that stuff that you've probably collected um and never actually done anything with yes you i know you you've never done anything with it um so yes you um so i i can see you know <laughs> so we're gonna make this just being a bit like random this is, uh, well this is me being random <laughs> i'm not very good at being random as anybody knows i am uh, ra random doesn't come naturally to me so so like i say you don't it's not it's, it's not very clear on the black background how much um you've got on your um on your medical tape and i think you only really see and appreciate how colorful it is all right up bugger lugs is here all right was a good boy good boy yeah there's a good boy all right uncle brian will be back and he can oh to you too are they upsetting you the people outside yeah you a bit hot you a hot dog nom mm, hot dogs mm -hmm. um i won't eat you though i don't think you taste nice you wouldn't taste as nice as a hot dog with mustard and ketchup would you no you wouldn't be a bit furry to start with so um yeah so uh you don't really appreciate how, the color that you get from the um the, the medical tape until you've torn it off hit off this background now this is an oven liner i don't go to any great expense and buy you can buy non-stick craft mats like this and i've seen them you know eight pounds sometimes more sometimes double that 16 quid or so one of them i think that might have been a branded one and um i know people that have had them when i've looked at them basically they are an oven liner they might have like a nice trim around the outside or they might have somebody's brand name in the corner but it's an oven liner and i got this oven liner from aldi for 199 so no expenses spared from me um let's put some pink on this one just like little not a lot just a little dash of little dash of pink just to kind of make it a little bit more exciting so well you know as exciting as, as it gets in the uk <laughs> well we've got sun so it's exciting at the moment so okay so that's that okay so now what i'm going to do is now i've got that on there i'm just going to give it a bit of a dry and we'll tell you now this will take some time to dry i did have to leave mine overnight um before it kind of truly got dry if you rub your finger across it now it will smudge so 
Oh, um, interesting. Brian has brought me some more masking tape, but this is extra wide. <laughs> All right. So Brian apparently had seen some masking tape downstairs, but it's not masking tape. So um, I don't know what it's. Oh, there's some more here. It's, it's it's all like coming out of like you know the ether now. So I've got some I've got some background laid down, and then the next thing is in all of those stamps that you've bought that you never use. Yes, you, you, you've never used them, have you? Um, like I haven't <laughs> clearly. Um, then all you need to do is this is a great op opportunity to get using some of them so um i have oh let's let's get there was one that i was down here somewhere <laughs> down here somewhere this never makes it very never reassuring when somebody says it's down here somewhere so this one let's use this so i uh ooh, there's a big background stamp a big thing acrylic block you don't always need an acrylic block block and then all i'm going to do is i am going to get some do i want it in black yeah go for it just ink up my stamp i'm just going to stamp randomly Now, second generation stamps are never very, I never get a very good result from a second generation stamp, but I'll give it a go. It gives you a nice background to work from. And then just put a bit more on. Who are you calling a moron? <laughs> um, the thing is, if I leave it like that, I'm, you know full well I'm going to put my elbow in it, don't you? So. Um, Obviously, if you can put this on a squidgy background, it's good. A bit of um, funky foam is a good idea if you're going to stamp. If you can find where you put it. If you, yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, is what I was going to use, but like, you know, can't find where I've put the funky foam. So. And even I don't know where that is. Oh, oh, Brian knows where it is. Brian suddenly had that re eureka moment. Oh, I know where it is. So, you know, um, Stamp till you're content is all I can say. You don't that have to. It's not. No, no, it's fine. I'm happy. Um, so, um, that's what we've got. You can put another layer in if you like. So I might put a bit of. Uh, ma, ma, ma. Sorry, this stamp is not stuck to the back of there. Um, this is not the stamp you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, it is the stamp. Oh, ding. Round two. Round two. Yes. Uh, there's another little um, wordy one on here, and I can just put this in like the spaces that I think it needs something. Uh, Brian's no, not Brian. Brian's not making a noise. Worcester's making a noise. Sorry. So, um, Worcester's growling at somebody. Somebody's not. Somebody's not walking the direction they should do. Or Obviously not very close by because it doesn't rumble. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like thunder. We've worked out that like the way that Worcester rumbles is like thunder. It's you know the close the louder it gets and the and the less um interval between rumbles, uh, the closer the person is. So <laughs> Bless him, he's funny. So that's that's all we've all we've done is just do, done a bit of stamping, um, just twisting and turning as you go, um, and then uh, see if we can peel this up. So, the reason why I use this non-stick oven liner is because it doesn't stick. <laughs> it's non-stick. <laughs> it being non-stick. Oh look, you, I knew that was going to happen. I've crunched it at the end. It's going to be like. Sellotape at Christmas, isn't it? So, um, do you have a light background I can? No, it's all right. I've got one. So, so you see, you get it's it's very much more subtle, but it is translucent. So if I put this over the top of, oh, let's see if it comes off. Over the top of some text, maybe. 
Sorry. It won't come off this very well. It can't get it off. <laughs> can't get it on, let alone off. So if you put this over some text, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning to peel this off. Then you can see the text through. Whereas you won't get that effect if you're using the masking tape. So your masking tape gives you a much darker color. Sorry about my hairy arms being in the way. Oh, come on, don't do this. There we go. So you get a much darker appearance from this. So you can see that against there, which I, I didn't, that oh, wasn't a controlled sticking down, which obviously you saw. Um, like I said, this, you need to leave this to dry for a significantly longer period of time than the other one. Um, but that's the kind of effect that you get. So that's the effect that you get on the um, on the masking tape. Anybody that ever watched um, Vision On or um, Take Heart um, will remember the gallery. So um, let's see if this peels off here. Mm, does a little bit take a little bit of text with it, but never mind. So that's it using just ink. How easy is that? You know, that took less than 15 minutes to bish bosh bash some stuff out, and there we are. We're, we're kind of done on that i just need to stick this now somewhere um and then we'll start on the next bit which is we're going to use some um some other stuff what's it called what am i, what am I giving you this whole thing this yes um, <laughs> um can you pass me the acrylic paint no it's all right i can got it it's it's suitably low down oh it's too heavy oh. okay so i'm gonna use some acrylic paint we're gonna use some this is i don't know whether you remember the other week brian was working um and he was using some stuff for backgrounds that wasn't um what's that other stuff that you emulsion. use sorry it's emulsion. no i know but what's the other stuff the Pebio stuff that you use. What's that called? The white stuff. Oh, gesso. Yeah. So it's not it's not gesso. This is emulsion. This is oh, just some emulsion. grey emulsion that was down in my basement that had gone mouldy. So we didn't use the mouldy bit. We just used the other bit. And then this is like the dregs of it. It's like mud now. But it's a good way to use up all those little match pots. Obviously, don't use the mouldy stuff. It's only because we're cheapskates and we don't care. Um, so we're going to use this, so, um, some of this emulsion paint. We're going to have a go with using some acrylic paint as well. Obviously, like, you know, no expense spared, hobby craft. Um, oh, I've got some Pebia. I'm not using that. It's too expensive. <laughs> um, I've got some of this, which is probably all dried up and like, uh, like dry as an old husk. So... Um, some metallic stuff so you know get get out ooh, ooh, interference that's me constantly interfering um the interference um, so anyway we're going to get some colors out we're going to get messy because you know i'm i'm wearing clothes suitable for it but i didn't put anything on my hands so Am I ready for my mat back yet? My glamorous assistant here is just um, sticking these elsewhere. I'm just sticking the rabbits back in the hat. Yeah, he's <laughs> getting the rabbits back in the hat. Um, <laughs> cool, thank you. So I'm going to use the other side so that we don't get any cross contamination. Not that I'm worried about cross contamination after telling you I'm using mouldy paint. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway. Um, so we need some, let's use some masking tape. Let's, might as well finish one roll off before we start another one. Use some masking tape. And then, you know what, you know what the, the thing is, don't you? 
You know, I've said about like using this because then you don't end up with like loads of it. Well, I'm gonna, guess what I'm going to have? Or loads of it. So if you get happy mail and you get homemade washi tape, all I can say is sorry. So <laughs> I just copied that. <laughs> uh, Why would you be sorry? Well, because I'm. I've said like the only reason why. Sorry, I'm just saying to Bri explain to Brian the only reason why I said about making this is so you only have to make little quantities. Um, I'm ma making so many in this hour that. I told you I like those ones. All oh, right, Brian's having those ones. That's all right. Then few. <laughs> That's some less that I don't have to deal with. So, two journals I can go in. Obviously, if you're going to put a background on, you can use gesso or you can use acrylic paint. Uh, sorry, um, emulsion. So, like you, you might have painted your living room, and you know you've got some emulsion left. Use it up on this if you're not planning to keep it. Don't keep it for too long because it goes mouldy, um, mm -hmm. as I now know. I don't even remember the colour. I don't even remember using the colour. So. In this, in this so no, it's not. It, it looks kind of grey, but it's kind of green grey. It was. I can't remember what it was called. No, sludge. sludge, yeah. Um, face mask grey. <laughs> it's kind of that, you know, that clay colour that you get when you use a face mask. When you're using cheap brush, brushes, the bristles fall out. They're like brushes with alopecia. It's also good for painting 12 by 12 pages that you don't like. Yeah, Brian uses it for painting 12 by 12 pages that, that, that he doesn't like. So, like, and you you can make it so that they you don't completely obliterate the, the pattern so that you kind of knock it back a bit, or you can completely paint over it and just make your own new paper from it. We've all bought paper that we think, oh, we'll use that. It was cheap, but then haven't used it. Yeah, my brush has definitely got alopecia. Paper pad has at least three sheets in it that you think, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate that it's not easy for, because I'm wearing a microphone, it's not e always easy for you to hear what Brian's saying, but he's just said, we all buy um, paper pads that, you know, where there's two or three pages that we just don't like in, in them. Try and get the loose hairs off it. This is why I don't like painting. Uh, this is how it is. You know when you're painting the, the wall or an intricate area and like you're just getting a nice you know smooth coat on and then um your bristles your brush suddenly gets alopecia. Yeah. Anyway. Enough of enough of me talking about my brushes with alopecia, so, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna stick this on. And the other thing that this will do is will speed up. If you're going to do this, put this down. You can use then your inks, your water-based inks, you know, your um, distress stains and that sort of thing. Um, and it will dry quicker, um, but also it won't um, be sucked in by the uh, tape. <laughs> Words, they escape me today. Words le definitely don't come easy, don't come easy to me. Yeah. F.R. David. Sorry? F.R. David? Is that, what, is that who sang it? Mm -hmm. So he's actually a kindred spirit. He's got uh, somebody with my name. Well, not not yeah. the F.R. We don't call you David. We don't ca no, nobody calls me David. Well, yeah. people have called me David. They're no longer around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the masking tape's for. Sorry, the duct tape. <laughs> well, that's why I've hidden all the duct tape. Yeah, that's why, that's why there's no duct tape. <laughs> well, no, it's not because you've hidden it all. It's because I've used it all from all the people that have called me David. Um, so. <laughs> so there you go. So just painting that on, okay? Um, and then leave that in there. Put that goo over there. Put the goo over with Brian. Um, dry this off before you put anything else on it, otherwise you'll get little, you know, get a bit of cross contamination. Um, or leave it to dry, obviously, if you don't have a a heat gun. You can use a um a hair dryer, uh, but 
be careful because they they blow much stronger than a heat gun does, and it blows it away. Yeah, or a radiator. Just, Just remember. Re <laughs> Sorry. Just remember the heavy. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> um, you will be. Yeah. So, that's what we've got now. Okay, so I'm just gonna let's just make sure it's completely dry. Just gonna show you how it changes the properties of this. So you remember how when we put this on, or one of the colours we put on um, before, it just completely soaked in. This now means that it just stays exactly the same you know you're going to get the same finish across the two now this will this is what will happen when you get this um masking tape wet it starts to bubble a bit but the bubble's good because the bubbles add to the bit of the the aginess of it okay so now i'm just going to get messy I'm going to use some now if you're going to use the interference stuff you've got interference then put that on last otherwise you won't really see it when you've like put loads of stuff all over it so um. <laughs> Hello, are you coming out today? No? Hello? Oh, yeah. You need to let us in to go get out. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be like that. I don't think it'd come out for a lettuce leaf. I wouldn't come out for a lettuce leaf. No. It would at the moment, I'm sure I'm saying that. Oh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of want to rub it in, but want it to be quite random. I don't want it to be sat dimensionally on the surface. If you put it too dimensionally on, too dimensionally on, or three dimensionally on, um, <laughs> if it's you two dimensional, it, you make it two dimensional. <laughs> then it will be, it'll crack when you try and like move it. So. Um, and obviously you're going to get a much brighter finish with this on. and you, you know you could go over it with some um, ink or something like that to kind of knock it back a bit but I'm, I'm going to go a bit I don't get I don't use bright stuff very often so but it's spring summer so yeah. let's do it so let's go bright because I can use it in my fruity journal when I eventually create that don't, don't, that's not in the process it's, it's one of those things I'm going to do but I haven't got round to I want a little bit more on here maybe no, but you're collecting the object for it, yes you? I am I'm collecting stuff up to, to make it I just haven't made it now be careful with acrylic paint I know I sound like your dad now but be careful with acrylic paint because it doesn't come off clothing It'll come off your skin, but once it's dry, it won't come off any clothing, so don't get it on your clothes. That's the answer. Um, uh, what should we have? Oh, should we go lime? I don't think I don't think the pink's really going to blend in very well. So, uh, but we might go for the lime. Might have to give it a shake. It hasn't been used for some time. The only ever time, the only other time it ever gets an outing, is when. Um, when I'm doing jelly plating. So. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> lost in the moment now. I'm just getting on with it and like not I'm forgetting about you guys. Sorry, you're still here. <laughs> well, I might actually you might not actually be here, so like you might actually be talking to myself, so it doesn't matter. So, um, Brian has the hooji what's it so I can't tell so. but I'm sure he'd tell me if people had, had blow this I'm going um, I'm trying to think of a no no what no, no people people haven't said blow this I'm going alright okay Sandy Eckert says good morning Dave I'm Brian good morning Sandy <laughs> um, I have and Eva says you guys make my day. Oh, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank Dawn you. Lily, What's Dad? the weather like where you are, Eva? So, is it nice? 
not nice. What's the weather like where every where everybody is? It might be in the UK. You might it might be pouring with rain, and I'm talking about how beautiful it is outside. And you're thinking, what? That's not what's happening here. What? You might not be thinking what, but something along those lines. What else? What other colours we got in here? I'm just having a rummage. Oh, there's another interference. There's a green interference here. Um, some red. Red might be a bit much. I wanted a thicker orange, I think, is what I was looking for. So I've got more... Oh, that's a more orangey orange, isn't it? It's an orangey orange rather than a yellowy orange. That's a yellow. So that's a cadmium yellow, and that's a primary yellow. In the 40s, but pouring red. All right, okay. 40s in... It's 40s in Fahrenheit, I would say, then. I don't know what that is in... Alexa, what's 40 degrees Fahrenheit in centigrade? Oh, 4 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's chilly. Now I know. Oh, good. Mixed to uh, oh, cool. <laughs> Hello, oh, excellent. I'm glad it's, it's nice where other people are, especially you know, far north of Scotland because you know that can be a bit hit and miss, can't it? It being the far north of Scotland mm -hmm. and all. Right, this is an orange one. I don't know how thick it is. It's not very thick, is it? It's not very good, but never mind. I was kind of going for like the oranges, lemons, and limesy look for this one. And then I was going to put some interference on it. Because, as I've, as I've said before, I like to interfere with things. So, usually somebody else's business. So. Okay, so anyway, let's put this on and get on with it, Dave. Stop chatting. <laughs> um, oh, too much, too much, too much orange there. So. Yay, oh, I don't know whether I like that orange. It's, it's quite peachy, this orange, isn't it? Perhaps I should have mixed my own. Oh dear, that's it's all getting a bit drippy. Oh, come on, get off me. But, you know, for this kind of thing, you don't want to be worrying about having the best um, acrylic paint, do you? Because well, it's, a background, it's a background. Yeah, exactly. So it's only a, you're only, only creating washi tape out of things that you already have, so that you don't have to spend a fortune buying washi tape. You don't want to spend a fortune making it either. So. Mm -hmm. And if you do it and you decide it's too bright and you don't like it, just... Thin layer of gesso over it and it'll yeah, it that's so. I don't know whether you heard Brian, but like he suggested putting a thin layer of gesso over it if you don't like it, if it's too bright. Um, so let's just see if we can make a brighter orange. Oh, I'm get, I am getting messy now. It was going to be a messy one. I did say it was messy, yes, that's fine. <laughs> you did have a warning, you did know it was messy. Uh, the time of a health warning today. Oh, that's, that, that's still very red. I think I need a bit more orange, a bit more yellow in that. Probably that's too much, but never mind. It's never too much. It is if, it's day, if, it, if it turns <laughs> yellow instead of being orange. Oh, that's a bit more citrusy, isn't it? I'm oh, sorry, I'm just dabbing it <laughs> everywhere and then like giving it a bit of a rub and then I don't get too much on. 
and give it a rub otherwise it looks like a fingerprint so, and if you want it by the feds perhaps don't do this so. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the do they Brian's going to Alexa. all right yeah brian brian and alexa do not get on they honestly they <laughs> they argue they're like petulant children um and <laughs> every time Brian asks her for something, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't deliver. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't understand me. She's in Yorkshire and she doesn't understand me. She's your sort of posh. Um, yeah, exactly. She's attuned to my posh <laughs> voice. That's what it is. So, not that I think I have a posh voice, but I'm just going with what Brian says. So. Okay, so I've got some, I've got some on. Perhaps I'm going a bit over the top now. What did she do the other day when I told her to shut up? She played herself. She hummed herself. Oh yeah, she. Uh, uh, Brian told her to shut up, because um, we'd already answered our own question. We didn't need her, her to answer, and she started singing her own rap to him. So, <laughs> so yes. A constant, a constant source of entertainment, those two. So anyway, so there we go. So that's um, that's that. Let's put a bit of this interference on it. Um, I don't know how thick this is supposed to be. How thick is this? Right, okay. So this is the this is the orange interference. And it's got like a, it adds like an iridescent-y sort of uh, mother of pearl type finish. Would you say that was what it was? Yeah, it's like pearl or... Like a pearl essence. Yeah, some of the colours are different. Like the blue, yeah. the blue ones and the greeny ones are a bit like abalone like Oh, yeah. Like the, my ring. Yeah, like abalone type stuff. So the green ones tend to be where, the, you know, you get that kind of you look at it one way and it's green look at it a different way and it's blue so um but they all work the same way they all give you that shiny yeah pearly jeweled look pretty um, i don't really use because like don't really use acrylic paint so i don't really use the interference stuff but i do like it when i have used it i've used it on a couple of jelly plate stuff um Ooh, and this this was good because it was only one pound fifty. It should be seven pounds. It was only one pound fifty. I'm always looking for a bargain. Now that's the orange interference. Let's put, oh, what's up, Woo? Oh, yeah. Are they at you, Woo? Yeah, that funky mood today, it's only a right funky mood. It was a right funky mood yesterday as well. I, I think it's the weather. Is like it's a hot dog. It's getting too warm. Well, he needs a shave. <laughs> Just shave him <laughs> like a little piggy. No. <laughs> I don't think he'd forgive you. No, I don't think he'd forgive me. I don't think I'd forgive me if I shaved him. So this is very messy. It's very not me. <laughs> um, where's the green one? Let's use the green one now. I'm not sure whether you can see this, but what can what can people see? Eva says she has. Siri, yeah. Get along either. She doesn't understand me. <laughs> yeah, my Siri's not too bad. I don't use my Siri as much, but um, but I, and my Siri is male. So. Uh, Joe Thornton said vintage photo might make it more rusty looking if you want yeah. to dull it down a bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is if you want to put on a, a layer, put something like um. Or you could even use this stuff. What's it called? This collage medium, um, or collage extra large, if you may. Um, always want for a joke. Like to recycle my jokes. Um, no, collage medium. No, oh, but you could use matte medium. Oh yeah, collage. Yeah, collage yeah, matte medium is cheaper than collage medium. I just. Well, can't. And the tub's twice as nice. Yeah, all right. Shh. <laughs> you know, just in case. Oh, Timmy wants to send me some. Oh, yeah. 
and you're like scuppering it because thinking oh right okay well i'm not sending him any if you're going to like promote something else i didn't really shake that up so maybe i should have done although it is still interfering i still i'm still interfering put another bit there and see if that's any different mix the two together maybe It's all about being a bit creative, isn't it? Trying something different, trying something new. Having a play, having a play seeing what happens. You know, let's face it, at the end of the day, you're going to create something unique, something you're not going to be able to buy on AliExpress yet, unless they get it and, like, copy it. Um, <laughs> and it's something that, you know, is unique to you. Nobody's going to say, oh, I've got that washi tape. So... You sunk my battleship. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and if somebody says, I've got a washi tape, so when did you break into my house? Yes, did you break into my house and steal my washi tape? Is that what happened? Um, and then you tell them that you've got some duct tape, and then they they run. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. So that's the that's our background. We're not going to go too over the top. <laughs> oh, I think that horse has bolted. No. Um, <laughs> not going to go too over the top. It's already over the top. It matches no. your shoulder. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah it does match my shorts actually so <laughs> um you're wearing orange shorts yes i am wearing orange shorts they're kind of no they're not even that are they they're kind of i don't know they're that color they're that color oh they're that color they're exactly the same color as that so but i don't wear shorts very often um but the sun is out and the sky is blue. There's not a cloud to spoil my view. But it's raining inside my heart. Yeah. Who sang that? Not Perry Como, was it? What was his name? <laughs> what was his name? Oh. Answers on a postcard. Who sang? Oh, I t his name's on the tip of my tongue. What is it? Oh, oh, now I can't speak because my brain's going. Oh, you need to find the answer. <laughs> is that dry? Oh, no. No, no, it is. <laughs> it is. I was just joking. <laughs> um, so, let's find something to stamp on this. Stamp on this with. What should we use? Should we use those? Tim Holt stamp. We've got a Tim Holt stamp? Brian's got a Tim Holt. Oh, Brian's got Tim Holt stamps. Just chuck those stamps away. I don't want those now. I want real, want real stamps. Real. I don't want the bugs. I don't want the bugs. Oh, I've, they've got writing though. It's all oh, of those. Oh, I don't know which ones. Oh, maybe them. Maybe that. When did you buy these? Tim Holt thing I do, I every month. Brian, these are like I'd have to not pay the mortgage for a month if I bought these. That's why I'm only so. buying one a month. <laughs> um and I think that one that you've got in your hand I got in Hobby Craft when it first reopened and it was reduced. <gasps> reduced? No. Tim Holtz? Reduced? Mm -hmm. What? Yep. I no. Yeah, what? what? Yeah. No. What? No. A yellow. What? <laughs> but it wasn't this colour yellow. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Hobbycraft yellow. Hobbycraft yellow. Anyway. <laughs> Enough of that. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, and what colour shall I use? Oh, I might use a. I might use this one, which is a nice kind of claret colour. Oh, it's Chianti, not Claret. Beg your pardon. Not that I've known much about my wines, and well, other than I know that that's a wine. Mm, good with liver and fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> thanks for me. Oh dear. Back to duct tape. Yeah. yeah. Back to duct tape. Yeah. We're in the realm of duct tape. Um. <laughs> I admitted what? 
<laughs> I don't know. Brian disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian was never seen or heard of again. <laughs> I'm not here next week, folks. <laughs> I love you all. Bye. <laughs> it's nice knowing you. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. See? Oh, I quite like that. It's, um, it's quite cathartic. Sorry, I like, stopped talking, didn't I? Uh, it's quite cathartic doing well, this. Time you spend going to me. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, I know, but I, I talk a lot more than you do, Brian. Yeah, you talk. I really do not have a problem with talking. People often are telling me to shut up, so I... So relatively, I'm a a more more yeah. You are different. Well, quiet. You're not quiet. You're quiet on video. You're not quiet in the way that I know you. Definitely not quiet. You do like. That's why I can't believe it because you love the sound of your own voice. Oh. So <laughs> no, I I like the sound of my own voice. But like you do like the sound of your own voice. I don't actually. We've had that conversation. I hate the sound of my own words. Well, I don't mean it as in like, <gasps> I know. like literally, literally. <laughs> um, oh, should I go for some numbers? Because that's a little one that I can kind of squeeze in here and there. Go for, put that in the middle, Dave. Otherwise, it'll all go wrong if you try and stick it on the side. Oh, just stick your finger in the. Pad, why don't you, Dave? Oh, you did. <coughs> so, yeah, just, I mean, like, I, I so kind of plain, um, and I'm trying to be random, <laughs> trying, um, maybe not succeeding, but I, I, at the end of the day, this is all together when you take, when you take it apart and it's an, an individual strip, it's not going to look the same, is it? So, but I'm just trying to put in something in the spaces that, well, you know, the really big spaces. So you've got, we've got a bit of something, a bit of decoration, de decoration, decoration, even. Um, there we go. Who is it? Oh, still got it in my head. It's raining inside my heart. Um, but it's raining, do, 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 do. raining in my heart. It's like one of my parents' songs, that, or maybe my eldest sister, but not one of mine. It's not in my catalogue, but I still know it. You know, like the songs that you kind of brought up on. They're just uh, they're there, aren't they? Aren't they? Um, Buddy Holly, that's it. Bud, sorry. <laughs> very loud and very aggressive. That's it. That's him. Him. That's the fella. Um, I'm going a bit over the top now. I'm trying. This is me trying to be random and then like getting all a bit like giddy and it's not looking. Get rid of that. Just stamping off on something, otherwise waste a lot of ink, don't you? So, so that's what we've made. Let's have a look. Let's see. Now, hopefully, it'll be dry. Sorry, I better put I better put the stamp back on the back, considering it's not my stamp. So, I'll put it back in the bag. Yeah, of course, Brian will need duct tape if don't put it back in the bag. Um, oh, you know that. He tries to put it in and then the sticky strip gets stuck to it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Marvellous. Might have to get myself some of them. Put them on my, put them on my Christmas list or something like that. Um, so, let's uh, give it a bit of a wipe and see if it's dry yeah it's fine my fingers are horrible um and 
Do we have some more of that baking parchment? Right, I'm going to use some of the baking parchment. I'm going to get a bit rustly now, so if you're not into the ASMR crafting, then you might want to close your ears. So. Sorry? Well, some people are. I, I do like listening to some ASMR stuff. I don't, not everything. I'm not a fan of listening to people eat. I don't like people eating as it is. I mean, like, you know, obviously, I appreciate them having to eat, but I don't like listening to people eat, as Brian can testify. That's something I've, me and my sister, my eldest sister, although we don't, we're not kindred spirits by any sense of the word. Um, it's one thing that me and my, my eldest sister really agree on. We don't like the sound of people eating. So... Although she's often told me to shut up before, and I'm a quiet eater. Um, but if I told her to shut up, then well, you would never see me again. So she's a formidable woman, is my eldest sister. So oh, I love these. So obviously, you get a bit bit of a wonkier edge because you're pulling all of the oh can't get it off the map now um because you're pulling the the acrylic paint up with it but you know you can either get rid of that or i quite like it i quite like this wiggly edge um put that there we'll get the rest off um and the, uh, obviously the best thing about doing it on a non-stick mat is that this will come off Whereas if you did this on your table, don't do it on your dining table. <laughs> Please don't do it on your dining table. Or don't do it on anybody else's oh, dining table then, either. Yeah. Put that down. Still, uh, it's, it's a little bit tacky. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look a little bit tacky. Uh, it, no, it's, it feels a little bit tacky still, but you know, acrylic paint will take a little bit of time to dry out fully. <laughs> so. Just on said Leo Sayer. <laughs> Leo Sayer for what? And then Alison Markham said, put your holly down. Yeah, <laughs> that's said, it. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So that's the, that's using the acrylic paint. So, and obviously Tim Holt stamps, courtesy of Brian, um, because I can't afford them. Wink, wink, Tim. You know, if you want to send me some, Tim, Tim Holt, you know, you know who you are, Tim, Tim, Tim. <laughs> See him in the description box, link to his stuff. <laughs> Sorry? I'd rather have a Tim Tam. <laughs> yeah, a Tim Tam. Yeah, I'd rather have a Tim Tam than a Tim Holt, but like, you know, Tim, you know. Is a, I quite like this background. I was going to clean this off, but like, I'm thinking, can I pull this up with some like tape or something or... Oh, I don't know. No, my mind's going like, whoa, oh, ah, at the minute. So, <laughs> so honestly, the stuff that's going on inside my head at this moment in time, it's like, what can I do? How can I pull this off? <laughs> can I pull it off? Will I pull it off? Let's see. You know, many a happy, happy accident is discovered in craft, isn't it? So. Um, so I'm going to cut this. This is not part of. This wasn't part of the demo. This was just because I'm. I'm thinking. <gasps> really like it, yeah. But if it works, you it saw go. it here first. So. <laughs> oh, it kind of. Do, oh, it kind of is pulling a bit off. It's not pulling the whole thing. Maybe if I just. It's like if a jelly it, plate, I suppose. That's our logic, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's me exactly getting excited. <laughs> oh, I love that sound as well. Oh, look at that. Would you, Adam and Eve it? Would you? Oh, that is right bonza. <laughs> right bonza. Yeah, because... <laughs> Because every Yorkshireman says that. <laughs> my my Australian 
um, Yorkshireman fusion. Oh, wow! I love it! Like I say, many a happy accident is found in craft, so this is what we, this is what we do. We, you know, we craft, we create, we discover wonderful things. We never throw anything away. We never throw anything away. <laughs> It's very this is true. Why? You can stick it to a bit of yeah, exactly. This is why. Oh. oh, wow. So anyway, that's my <laughs> that's my bonus thing that I've just created by pulling all the bits off of my off my oven liner. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to be here all day just peeling little bits of these up well i might be but that'll be after my my video so my name is dash of dave and i hope you've enjoyed this video um i you know if you're watching me on uh live on facebook thank you for tuning in um i will try and get the um event things or schedule sorted out for some reason i thought it was it was doing a reoccurring one but it turns out that facebook no didn't want any of that wouldn't let me go live uh anyway um but if you're watching this on youtube thank you very much please like it please consider subscribing you know there is more madness um in my back catalogue there's more madness to come um and you know well we can discover all of these happy accidents together can't we so anyway i hope you've had a great day um and i hope wherever it is there is sun in your heart if there is not sun in the sky so um, I'll read all your comments um, shortly and I will always reply um, but uh, thanks very much for joining me you have a lovely afternoon morning evening um, I said bye before, well, yeah Bri to both Brian Brian saying goodbye as well um, so have a lovely afternoon evening morning or whatever time it is with you um, and I will see you again in the next video or the next live or whatever or wherever or on the street if I don't see you through the window, or I'll see you through the week. No, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Shut up, Dave. Uh, uh, You're if I see you through the window, run, there's duct tape. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, right, <laughs> thanks very much for watching. Take care. Love you all. I'm sending you lots of kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of hugs. <laughs> and as I say, always, I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. Go and get creative. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.